How are you doing guys, Zeta here, so today I wanted to talk about Death Stranding. Believe it or not, Death Stranding is getting plenty of reviews out today. And uh, I am very pleasantly surprised to see that this game is actually being a lot better, uh, you know, taken as I initially thought. Basically, now let me explain. I did not play the game. And uh, obviously, I will be getting with you with the, with the rest of you guys um, there on November the 8th. And yes, I'm definitely going to be getting it. And yes, I'm quite excited for it as well. There are some other reviewers out there just saying like it's more of a tedious grind, more of a walking simulator, blah blah blah. Like a lot of people don't like this fetch quest because you you more or less of a delivery man going from point A to B, so it makes no sense. Blah blah blah. I don't like this. You need to make sure that you are able to go exactly to the point and how. You need to get ready for it. There's plenty of those reviews out there, such as DIG. And by the way, I'm gonna have a video about that uh, later on, uh, perhaps today or tomorrow. Uh, about that uh, specifically but what I've seen and what I've heard about this game coming from scale up layman gaming and as such I've been watched yes I've watched the IGN game spot as well the reviews for it and I'm very pleasantly you know what I'm pleasantly surprised to tell you that I'm quite excited for this game and you know what I definitely expected exactly what I wanted Basically, I knew this going to be was going to be more or less of a fetch quest, if you want to in, uh, take it as a limb's term, right? There's a lot more to it. <laughs> you, it's not like you're pulling a stick, uh, a stick uh, forwards, and you just simply go through point A to B. There's a lot more to it. Obviously, you need to make sure you have your weight management. And don't uh, don't don't take too many stuffs or then it's going to be very difficult to control because the balance issues and uh, maybe very difficult for sam himself and uh, basically the traverse of through the world for example there will be cliff signs there will be bridges and stuff there's going to be river signs you need to go carefully you know you need to always manage these little things right and thankfully as well of course um it's not just being by walking that might be the issue whatnot right there's bikes there's cars there's vehicles there's some different stuff and it makes these things a lot easier to go through, right? I love the way the online uh, implementation has been added on in here, of course, but it's not like you're gonna enter the new area, you'll see all these online implementations. So you need to get to this one of these uh, message uh, posts, more or less, and uh, he pretty much unlocks, like, brings it online. The, the part of the map anyway right the location and you then you can see all these online implementations new uh, bridges has been already uh, left there maybe bikes and uh, maybe some kind of ropes or whatnot you know it makes it so much more unique in my personal opinion and i really like that i personally really like that the reviews however are very positive right i also wanted to mention this uh, a lot of people giving it like a 9 out of 10 mostly i saw it was 9 out of 10 so i've also been looking through the metacritic because you know pretty much to summarize all the reviews that have been publishing this game uh, on this game anyway and uh, there are plenty of kind of a mixed bag of reviews right ign is one of them as i mentioned already i'm gonna have again i'm gonna have a video separately out for it and uh, one of the lower scores ratings, I know there's like one coming from like very negative, goes like up to 35, it's the Stevior, but anyway, I don't consider them to be more of reviews, they're more of a fucking pff, haters more or less. So basically, I consider the lowest rating is coming from uh, VGSC, Aus Gamers, uh, VG247, uh, they gave it the lowest uh, rating as 60. Coming from uh, VG247, uh, if you do manage to hold that, you will be rewarded with flashes of brilliance. It's just that those flashes are buried um, as deep as the core story is buried in the endless dialogue. And uh, coming from Aos uh, Gamers, hopefully not butchering the name, I, ca uh, I cannot in good consciousness recommend this game to all, but the most rapid uh, fans of the Hirogejima's work. And even then, I feel like this game may cause some of them to bulk and question their devotion. It pains me to say it, but Konami may have been necessarily evil for him. A check and a balance against his crazier, more self-indulgent impulses. Wow, that's hardcore, but you're pretty much, uh, pretty much saying that he, the guy should have been enslaved for life. Nice, I, I was gamers, nice. VGC, a bloated, snowy, post-apocalyptic melodrama that makes a meal of some engrossing mechanics and themes. Wow. 
basically as you can see i don't particularly think that these people get what the hideo kojima was trying to pull off here I really don't think so. I actually think that the game is turning out to be and how it turn out, turning out to be is exactly the vision that Hideo Kojima has envisioned it to be. And I'm actually very pleasantly surprised to see that it's getting a masterpiece reviews as well, such as like 100, 100, like 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, like coming from Gaming Age, Game Planet, Game of Sky, Thrusted Reviews, Game Revolution, Push Square, well, Push Square, obviously. We got Discovered, The Sixth Axis, Screen Rant, Gaming Trend, digital, uh, Digitally Downloaded, EGM, Daily Star. They all give it a 10, uh, 10 out of 10, more or less, well, as, the, uh, as of this recording of this video anyway. Now, I definitely wanted to mention a few of them, not all of them. I'm gonna get into a little bit of a uh, talked about <laughs> from Game Planet anyway. While Death Stranding will surely be the most divisive game of this generation, there's no arguing that it offers new ideas on a pushing the medium forward and shows that the games don't always typically have to be fun. The story is beautifully presented and surprisingly restrained and focused for the Kojima's title. All of the actors put in on the amazing performance and whilst its gameplay will, to, will be too slow for many, those willing to peel back the layers will discover a uh, thoughtfully designed experience that will leave you uh, rum, ruminating for the weeks after finishing. I mean, this guy gets clearly what Hideo is trying to ch achieve here. Trusted reviews, I should mention them, Death Stranding is unlike anything else out there right now. It's huge, innovative and utterly unashamed in what it wants to be. Kojima Productions is heavy-handed in its implementations on modern political themes, but they tie into the narrative involved the players in ways that feel compelling. Push Square also would mention, but they are very positive about everything, more or less. <laughs> Let's let's talk about Screen Rant, right? to give it a short one. Death Stranding is dizzying, unshakable in its belief, and it's doing something worthwhile, and it's one of the most important games of this decade. Nah, pretty short and easy. Nice and easy. Uh, the, let's talk about EGM, right? In the end, Death Stranding Biggest Mystery isn't in any uh, of the elements we've had teased in three plus years of the trailers. It was uh, it what uh, people are going to think of it. Even from a man knowing uh, for uh, making love uh, or hate them projects, this may end up being one of the most uh, divisive games ever created. For me, it was an experience that I can truly say was unlike any other I remember. And of nothing else, Death Stranding makes me respect Hideo Kojima for convincing Sony to invest millions into the game that's about a man delivering packages uh, to the holograms. <laughs> Wow, okay, well, uh, the, I'm gonna let, mention one last one, is the Daily Star. Death Stranding is the most unique, big-budget game I've ever played. A social-minded injection of inventive ideas into the genre that has long survived by being lazy and brutish. The ambition formula flipper is brimming with the empathy and carefully court cinematic influences. An assembled cast and a world of eye-watering scale, delivering a sticky gameplay loop to tie it all out uh, together and create a console generation defining experiences. Wow, well that was a very very positive. Definitely want to mention that this game is not fun. If that makes sense, right? This game will get tedious for a lot. This game will be kind of maybe aggravating in some cases. I've also heard about the bosses maybe that could have been better implemented even though they seem very easy. As long as you have those grenades, you can take care of them. A couple more, uh, you know, uh, explosion hits on the impact, of course. But you know what? You know what? I think this game is more of an experience that everybody would like to have. Now, don't get this game if you're looking for more or less of a, any other AAA standards of the game, because if that's the case, then you're a simple-minded person, you don't know what you're signing up for, just don't bother with it. But if you are willing to open your, open your mind and experience what the game is trying to be offered for you, then do. Do try to invest your time into this game. Well, I think that's that. That's all I wanted to mention. Uh, this game is getting very, very good reviews and other people don't, don't understand it and giving it poor reviews or at least in that six to uh, six out of 10 category. They don't understand what they are, what Hideo Kojima is trying to strive for in here. Well, at that, thank you so much for watching but, and um, like and subscribe as always. Have an awesome day. And again, have a good one.